Hi friends and subscribers, a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video today from Jerusalem in Israel among the rainy weather, uh, rainy, windy and rather Irish-like weather that we're uh, having at the moment. Um, I want to do a video today now. I, said, I know I said a few days ago that I wasn't going to talk about um, Ireland and Israel stuff anymore and I'm trying to keep all that to um, a minimum. I've set up another YouTube channel called Ireland Israel Watch and all the sort of um, examples of what I regard as hate speech and anti-Semitic rhetoric uh, coming out of Ireland's parliament and elsewhere I'm putting up on that channel so the people who subscribe here don't get flooded with a bunch of those videos uh, because I'm trying to keep this channel focused on as best as I can life in Israel and the things that I think are good about life in Israel and how to live in Israel. That's kind of really the um, intended sort of market for this YouTube channel, if you will. Um, but I'm active on Twitter slash X and I have seen there's been quite a bit of chatter recently regarding anti-Semitism in Ireland. And I've seen a couple of threads where people are like, well, we should ask an Irish Jew. And I'm like, well, I guess I could make myself known because there just really aren't that many Irish Jews in the world. So although there is, you know, a lot of anti-Semitism going on in uh, the US and in the UK, there are plenty of organizations and spokespeople talking about that. And when it comes to anti-Semitism in Ireland, I feel like the Jewish community is firstly tiny and secondly, really tends to like to keep its head down, which is why I'm trying to keep my head up and uh, offer my two cents, even if people in the community might not be too happy about me for doing that. Um, so what I want to talk about today is anti-Semitism in Ireland. So the first thing I want to say is that there is anti-Semitism in Ireland, but I don't think it's fair by any stretch of the imagination to call Ireland anti-Semitic. And something I see a lot in the kind of Hasbara world um, is that Sometimes Israel advocates will throw racism back over the fence because there's so much, uh, you know, bullshit and hostility being thrown at Israel. They'll say, well, you're all a bunch of drunk Irish people. And I've, I've deleted and banned people from my YouTube channel for making anti-Irish slurs, uh, you know, um, that don't bear repetition here. So there is definitely um, sort of two sides to racism, but there's racism in every society, right? There is anti-semitism to some degree in any country in the world and there's anti-irish sentiment in israel for sure and there's anti-jamaican sentiment in denmark and probably people in denmark who don't like the czech republic and i could go on but the point i'm trying to make is there's some degree of antipathy for different for different groups and there's racism in all societies but you can't categorize an entire society as being anti-anything because there's always going to be people who buck that trend and who are being unfair, unfairly cast as, um, in this case, anti-Semitic uh, because of the actions of some people. So um, I reject wholeheartedly that Ireland is anti-Semitism, anti-Semitic. The next question is, is Ireland a particularly anti-Semitic country? And I would charge also that that's not the case. Um, I have a friend on Twitter or a guy I'm talking to by DM called Kieran. And Kieran sent me, um, he's a pro-Israel guy in Ireland, and he sent me on some surveying of uh, Irish attitudes towards, uh, about Jews, sort of testing for anti-Semitism by statements like, you know, Jews control uh, Hollywood or Jews control the US, do you agree? And the response rates in Ireland were below the European um, average by and large. So I think the most anti-Semitic countries, when they do that kind of polling, Greece tends to be way up there and Spain. So, you know, look, it's impossible to tell even though surveys are flawed because people can just lie um, in their responses to try and make themselves look better and they might be trying to make their country look better. So I think the true incidence of anti-Semitism is really, really probably extremely difficult to pull out through stuff like this polling. But my own experience living in Ireland growing up in Cork was that I did experience anti-Semitism um, I've done a separate video about growing up Jewish in Ireland. I had a, I firstly was, you know, kind of low level anti Semitic name calling, Jew boy, blah, blah, you know, don't need to go into it. Yes, I definitely got that. Had a teacher who used to go on rants about um, how the Jews were greedy people, um, an English teacher, and that was really a little bit traumatizing because I was the only Jewish child in the school and in the classroom, and I just had to kind of sit there with my head down at my desk listening to these rants about uh, how bad Jews were. 
um and you know lo- just looking on then in the online sphere just um anonymous phone calls anonymous emails from people in ireland i've been getting tweets from people in ireland the last couple of weeks full of anti-semitic expletives so i don't think and there was a swastika daubed on a house in um i think it was in tremor a couple of weeks back so look there is anti-semitism in ireland i've seen it with my own eyes i think it's out there i think everyone with a you know, who's rational would would agree that it is a thing. The issues I have with anti-Semitism in Ireland aren't the fact that I think it's, you know, extremely, extraordinarily prevalent. My issues are twofold. Um, firstly, when that it goes unchallenged, uh, particularly in the public uh, domain, that's one feature that I think is quite unique uh, to the Irish context. For instance, when I you know was uh, sharing those videos of Richard Boyd Barrett comparing Israel's uh, war um, in Gaza to the Nazi genocide of Jews, I support the IHRA working definition of anti-Semitism. It includes uh, comparisons between Israel and Nazi Germany as an example of anti-Semitism. Uh, Richard Boy Barrett has said so many things I would I would regard as uh, anti-Semitic. So you know when those utterances uh, denying October seventh, uh, we had I there was a guy yesterday a Cork uh, comedian who uh, I posted on Twitter that went kind of viral. Um, basically denying that there were rapes happening on October 7th. And you could say, well, that's, you know, that's just anti-Israel, but there is certainly a line uh, there that gets crossed when, you know, that's kind of pretty much on par with Holocaust denial uh, to say that there was no rape and no massacre on uh, October the 7th. So my issue really, and the reason I've been doing this kind of advocacy work, uh, to put it like that, is firstly because I think it goes unchallenged. Um, I don't think that's acceptable. And I think part of challenging it is highlighting instances of it. Um, and the second thing really is that um, I think it, uh, the, it, you know, hate speech and uh, hate incitement to hate, racial hate, particularly against Jews, I feel like there's no enforcement happening in in Ireland. Uh, that the Journal.ie's article about the swastika being daubed on a house in Tremor uh, included. Um, it said there was a swastika and a star of David daubed on a house, and it said the Gardaí, which is Ireland's police force, are not investigating. Um, you know, um, there's just a lot more examples of things that I, that I've seen recently that I would regard as transparent hate speech and anti-Semitic speech. And I, that's what I have an issue with in Ireland. It's not that I think Ireland is anti-Semitic. Um, I think that the anti-Semitism that does exist in Ireland is goes unchallenged. And secondly, there is a weird kind of entrenched denial among elements of Irish society that there is no anti-Semitism. Uh, this is kind of a claim that very few people make and that I find quite bizarre, especially even when the odd Irish Jew makes it. Um, I've seen recently a bunch of tweets. Um, I can just pull one up on the screen as a random example, but people saying there is no anti-Semitism in Ireland. And uh, firstly, it's preposterous for the reasons that I've tried to articulate and argue. And secondly, it's just not true. Uh, That is simply a fallacy. And I find it particularly weird. Um, That's something I don't see really in other geographies in the US and the UK. I don't see a flat denial of the mere existence of anti-Semitism in society at large in the same way that I see that a lot um, from Irish society and in Irish uh, Twitter and other uh, online uh, sort of, you know, areas of Ireland. Anyway, I don't want to say too much about it. Um, I do think I am a little bit, I am concerned about the rise of anti-Semitism in Ireland. I think that people like Richard Boyd Barrett are very, very dangerous uh, because uh, people can dismiss him as kind of a fringe lunatic which I really think he is, but uh, you know he's getting up there uh, accusing Israel of conducting a genocide, genocide, being an, being ethnic cleansing, and just stirring up hate day in day out to big audiences um, in Ireland. And you know you can say they're small, but look at the numbers on the street; they're not that small. Um, and Mary Lou Macdonald of Sinn Féin, really not all that far behind PBP in the level of agitation. And uh, these. We've seen repeatedly that actions lead leads to lead to words, and that's what I'm concerned about: the climate of acceptance in Ireland for anti-Semitism. Uh, that's my view uh, over here in Jerusalem, and uh, thanks for watching today's video, second video blog for the day, and more videos will be coming soon.